Hello, my name is Jez Putnam, and I use they, them pronouns. Today, I will be interviewing my daughter, Jara, about a recent trip we took to do geological research on the McDowell Mountain Range. Jara, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hello, my name is Jara. I'm eight years old and I use she, her pronouns. I recently took a hike on the Marcus Landslide Trail. I felt amazed. I learned about how various rocks that have formed near the Marcus Landslide in the McDowell Mountain Range. That was fun seeing those different rock structures, huh? Yeah. What was one of the main formations that you found the most interesting? The rock transformation known as mushrooming was my favorite. Nice. So let's share some information about rock mushrooming. Well, rock mushrooming starts as a rectangular land formation underground and then transforms into the structure it is today. That sounds intriguing, Jara. Do you know what type of rocks these are? Yes, it is granite. Okay, which of the three main types of rock are granite? Granite rocks are a type of igneous. So that means these rocks were formed by subsurface lava cooling, correct? Yes, you are correct. They are also called intrusive igneous to be more specific. Okay, so how exactly do these rocks undergo the process known as mushrooming and subsurface weathering. What does that process look like? A natural process occurs between precipitation and air currents gradually eroding the top of rocks. As precipitation occurs, it washes down the side edges and corners of the block. These actions gradually narrow the bottom of the rock creating a mushroom uh, formation. So for folks that aren't as familiar with geology and rocks, we have three main types of rocks, correct? Could you share with us what these three main classifications of rocks are, please? Of course. Number one, igneous rocks are formed when pooling magma or lava from volcanoes. Oh yeah, and igneous is named after Ignis, that means fire in Latin, right? Yes. Sweet. That's awesome. So that's number one. Let's do sedimentary rocks next. These are formed when rocks get worn away and erode, right, Jara? Yes, they are created by water, wind, and ice. Slowly, they are broken down into tiny little pieces like this size. These pieces are called sediments kind of like sedimentary. Mm. Wind and water carry sediment, mud, and other stuff to the ocean and other bodies of water. Okay, last rock is? Metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks are created with heat and pressure. And rock can transform into a met metamorphic rock. Nice. Thanks, Jara. Interesting fact that we found 95% of the Earth's surface is made of igneous rock. You're correct. Good job. Thank Give us you. A pen.